Hi, my name is Kate Bennett and this is my Life Life blog. Over the Christmas holidays, I kind of realised I was getting to the stage where I needed to lose a little bit of weight and normally I've been very resistant to this idea, mainly because it's mostly suggested by my mother. I don't really want to be seen as giving in to her. Also, the whole like fat as a feminist issue thing is like for me to own it, but it has got to the stage where I'm like probably need to do something about it. So I decided to join Light Life because my friend Charlie um, and her boyfriend Wodge had done it and it worked really fast for them and they had lost about three, three stone each between them and that's about the amount that I want to lose so um, I decided I would do it. So what Light Life is, is they give you all the food that you eat that day. Uh, you go every week to a meeting where you have counselling and sort of group therapy and you talk about food and about your relationship with food because my relationship is kind of like, probably think about it quite a lot of the time. So then I just end up eating a bit more than I should. So every week you go and you pick up your Life Life food packets and they're things like this. This is pasta carbonara, apparently. I've not eaten it yet, we'll see. It's apparently it's a bit like space food because they give you four of these sort of things to eat a day. There are soups, shakes, fake meals, fake meals like this one, um, and bars. Uh, and you eat four of them a day and they have all of your nutrients except they have like no carbs in whatsoever. Um, uh, and there are varying quality. So I found that I don't mind the bars. I quite like them. The nut fudge one is particularly good, in my opinion. Um, but I tried the tomato soup, and that was a really, really dodgy pink orange colour, like light pink orange. I think I put too much water in it. Um, I just could not eat that, and it felt ill. So I'm trying to resist the temptation of food, and this is my third day of my life life journey. This is my bowl. We're going to put this pasta carbonara in it, and I'm quite intrigued what it's going to end up like, to be honest. Oh, look, it's like powder. I'll put it in the bowl. Well, it looks like it does actually have some some actual pasta in it, so that's quite hopeful. So I've got this um, Life Life shaker, and this has um, a measuring thing up the side. So that's where you put your water in, and this, according to the packet details, needs 130 millilitres of water. So measure that in. I'll put that in there. It's microwave for a minute and a half, so I'm gonna do that now. So, it's in the microwave, and it's a minute and a half, so one minute and 30 seconds. We go, start, let's see how this goes. So I thought I might tell you a little bit more about Light to Life and about um, what it is. Um, basically it's a very low calorie diet and um, where the whole point is abstinence from normal food. It kind of takes the idea that you have a food addiction and then you go, the meetings you go to are kind of like Foodaholics Anonymous a little bit. Um, but they're really nice and you have like your local counsellor and um, mine is called Liz Hurley, um, and they sort of lead the meetings each week where you do a little bit of um, CBT, cognitive behavioural therapy, and you kind of work through your relationship with food. And today, as I said before, today is my third day. Oh my God, I'm starting to feel it. Like yesterday was fine, because I was just kind of embracing the hunger, and I've been on my own in my room because I'm at college, um, and there's, I'm, it's before the start of term, so no one is really around, so there isn't really any talk about going to lunch and stuff. So, but yesterday was fine, but today, oh my god, on Radio 1, they were talking about kebabs, and 
I need a duck kebab so badly, but I'm really proud of myself because I didn't give it. Okay, so let's go see what this looks like. All right, it's slightly dodge, but let's mix that up. It looks okay. I think it probably could have done with less water because look at this. So it's gone kind of all gloopy. And it says mix and put in for another thing and a half. It actually tastes okay. It tastes a lot better than I thought it was gonna taste because when I had the tomato soup, it really put me off. Um, and so then I was kind of dreading the rest of all the life life food. But that's very nice to that, well, pasta carbonara. It's actually nice. Shall we see what, even though it has like no real anything in it. <laughs> so the beef has just gone and I'm just gonna go pick it out of the microwave for the last time. Let's see how it is. Okay, so I don't know if you can see but the majority of all the water has kind of evaporated and now it looks like it's solidified. But well, the real, I think it's a bit hot to eat, but I'm just mixing it up. There's not a lot of it. Probably, I think I need to invest in a teaspoon or something because really not as much as I thought there would be. And also I think this is the last thing I can eat tonight because I've already eaten bar, shake, and I think I ate another nut fudge bar. So this is my last meal of the evening. I'm surviving on red bush tea because that doesn't have any milk or sugar in it. Luckily it's nice. But you're not allowed to drink any teas that have to do with the fruit or the flour. Only the leaf. All right. Moment of truth. It's so hot. It's all right. It's hot, which is quite nice because I've not had a hot food for three days. Um, and it does. Well, it's not like spaghetti carbonara like Carluccio's or your mama used to make, but ooh, it's certainly edible. So, there we are. Done. I think I'd give this one 6 out of 10 because it's a bit stodgy. But, okay. So, yes, for me, spaghetti carbonara. Um, I'm going to try and keep vlogging my life life journey. It's such a journey, a buzzword. Ah, oh, I'm on a journey. Yeah. Um, so I might see you tomorrow, I might see you in a few days, but I'll try and get this up tonight. And don't tell my mother.